Hey everybody, it's Commander Clyde. Welcome to live reaction to the Yu Hong reveal on the Smite patch notes. I have it paused here. I came in just a tiny bit late on this. I don't think they've shown off the abilities. Well, they've shown them, but they haven't talked specifically about them yet. So I think we got in just in time. This will be an actual live reaction. Unlike the last one where I did it on the VOD. Because I didn't make it in time. But anyway, here we go. What this is is actually a slow-moving self-banish and untargetability. So it's kind of like a juke. I think it might be late. You get a, you get a relatively long window of untargetability. And, um, but his three is really cool because you get the dragon, he throws him up, and he can fire around um, and then land. I guess it does damage on landing. I'm not sure, though. You can go get, use it to escape player mid -wall. That's a lot. On landing, he's going to deal bonus damage. Um, just in of damage in this is... That ability is really strong just because it's a banish and he's not targetable. It's a banish and he's not targetable during that land and damage. If you refire it, you can go down faster. So if you want to up down somebody, very interactive. <laughs> That's awesome for, for, for both control and, you know, if you're using this offensively or defensively, right? If you're trying to, you know, use some Dow, get that knock up, then you can really just rain down on your enemies. But if you're like, all right, I got to get out of here. Odin just put up a wall. Uh, you can kind of slide right over it. I'll turn this up a little more. The, the max duration of that That's really, really cool to see. And just, that, again, very aesthetically pleasing. That dragon animation. Is that is, I believe the one they showed there is his two, which you charge it up and you shoot it and then does extra damage. And then there's the... The one with the X yeah. formation does the bonus damage when they all collide and you hit the whole thing. Of course, it fires faster than I thought it did, so it's a little bit easier. Oh, this is big time, dude. This is prime time, man. This one, I hope, looks really cool. Bam. It's not as cool as I wanted it to be, dude. But it's still really cool. I can just do it in melee range like that. It's kind of sick. You basically have a hinged line targeter. So how this works is the faraway dragon from you, the pearl dragon, doesn't actually move. But what you can do is you can aim the line in different directions. And he's CC immune. That's so sick. He but the dragon, bro, look at that. Yeah, it's like right. this is like Dragon Ball, dude. It's Shinron. I mean, and there's Pearly Boy. And then they disintegrate. Cool. I was hoping. I want a bigger fireball, though, dude. Come on. I want this to look like a. Uh, who is his name? I forgot the name of the dude that does the explosions in the movies all the time. Michael Bay. I want this to look like a Michael Bay. Yeah. Really I guess if you want to push a target really far, you can just turn completely around and aim it that way. But I don't know why you would really ever not want to have the bonus damage. I mean, you can push somebody a long way if you don't do that. I guess it's be really situational where you wouldn't want the bonus damage. But at that point, it's such a ranged shot that it may not be worth it. Because he'll never hit it like that. Yeah, he's the perfect counter for tower for tower boys. Hurry when I hate fighting this guy. I hate to do my boy. I hate to do hurry when like that, but I gotta throw that joke in there. 
count in the time you have uh, before the ability uh, kicks in. Yeah, so the one last thing to talk about with this ability is what happens when it's attuned. So when Yu Huang is attuned and uses dueling dragons, yeah. Oh yeah. Gets Let's get attuned, bro. Now. So the path of the, dra uh, the dragon's oh take rather is wider. Bam, and, uh, it's bigger. Still. Yeah. So if you would like to push more But the explosion people, doesn't get bigger. That's boring. <laughs> So far, that is my main complaint: is the explosion is not big enough. So you can zoom it upon firing this as well. Everything is consumed in the center of that. Uh, has to be regained from its other generation. Yeah, it's all part of the cycle, and uh, like you said, three ways to gain it, three ways to use it. That's incredible. Too. That is cool, though, that if you line up multiple targets, you can push them all to the middle. So many different ways you can handle using Dao uh, for attuning your abilities. Like, oh, like I can. This, I'm excited to see this in team fights because. I'll, you know, pluck a backliner with this. Or there are lots of ways, yeah, to there and push a tank off to the side. You know, you have a use your Dao and all that. It so takes a little bit of planning. You do have to figure out what ability do I want to attune right now? Where do I want to get my Dao from? Blah, blah, blah. Do I want to do it by just natural stacking, by not taking or dealing damage? Do I want to use an ability that charges it? With how easy his one to hit I is hit to hit, I am a little concerned about all the those forms of damage getting kind of out of hand once he has items built. It's a really magical moment to see your first god design come to life. I mean, so magical that some. But we'll see. Sweatshirt that has that god on it for forever. So. What's that? Her first god design. Well, that's that's cool though. But yeah, I mean, let's, let's congratulate, learn me, congratulate. Regardless of anything Hi-Rez does, when you have a character idea like that and design it yourself and bring it into the game, it's really... Yeah, it's, it's so incredible, honestly. I, I remember... Big deal. Game ...and coming home from school every day, being really excited to watch him... Okay, let me go to the VOD real quick. Yeah. I'm here. And look at the beginning part of that. But he's also cool. The, like, power stance. <laughs> If you get hit by the projectile of the cinders coming to the center, that's a little bit of damage. There's an explosion coming from the, uh, when all of them collide. And then there's a burn coming from that field of flames. So like I talk about that, each of those four things that fire together, those by themselves have their individual damage. The center explosion has its own damage. And then the fire also does more damage. As a tick, it's a pretty small tick, though. So, I think that's tuned pretty well. So, you'll always know that you can do at least two abilities if you're at full. There are, again, still more ways to get back Dao. So, if you happen to be weaving in basic attacks, staying in and out of combat, doing those kind of actions, you can. And, of course, the Dao mechanic, which is his passive, you get it by doing nothing, essentially, by not being hit or hitting anything. So, out of combat. I love when this. Your two will also charge. That'll be really cool to see will also charge Dao for you. Then when abilities to tune, it consumes six stacks. You have twelve stacks maximum, so you can fire two abilities attuned if you have max stacks. Pretty simple. If you pace yourself, take your time, reset, you know, build that Dao back up before the next fight. You're going to be a lot more effective than if you just come in. Yeah. So, really, I mean, again, have to exercise that patience, that emperor-like patience. Well, ability two is going to make you also want to be patient <laughs> if you're going to want to get its full effect. Well, let's get into ability two, Dao Cultivation. So, in this one, this ability is really two. So, this is the one where you get to charge some Dao. It's basically a charging ability, and the longer that you stay in it, the more Dao that you get up to a cap. So you can see there, the targeter is grayed out, and once it gets colored in, that's when you've gotten your first dial. But there's a lot of nice visual and audio sound effects that are going to be coming in to let you know when you've gained your cap of six cool. dials per ability cap. You can see actually in his passive meter that uh, the slots start filling up red. Yeah. So that starts showing you how much dial you will gain when you fire it. Okay. You how much dial you get when you fire it. Uh, so for you get that, get and then we wait around a bit, we get our thing, and then uh, it's so full attunement. And then, there you go. 
or in the stuff. Now, why are we going back to look at this one? I've already talked about it. Because I'm trying to get this video to 10 minutes for better YouTube engagement. You really can't blame me for doing that, though, right? I do like how it's cool. Where it's a projectile. It freezes in jade and then it explodes for more damage. That's a cool design thing. Very fun. It seems fun because you're just throwing stuff around, dude. Like projectiles everywhere. You're chaining basic attacks. Very fun. All right. Anyway, I think that's a good look at what's happening here. Like and subscribe if you guys enjoyed that. Leave a comment down below if you want. As always, I'll have links down in the description. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some gameplay of this god this weekend. And I'll see you guys next time for some more Smite. Have a good one.